good. Okay, so I heard you know a thing or two about crystals. Yeah, uh, should I show you, Philip? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> crystals. They're solids made up of atoms and molecules arranged in a repeating pattern. They come in all shapes and sizes and many different forms. There's amethyst, quartz, rose quartz, moldavite, citron, diamonds, as well as some you probably use all the time without realising, like salt and sugar. These types of crystals form naturally, but you can also grow crystals yourself, something Dia is pretty fabulous at. Ta-da! These are my crystals and I made this using a process called crystallisation. Crystallisation can happen a few different ways, but the most common is when liquids either cool down or evaporate. For example, quartz is made when melted rock or magma cools down really slowly deep underground. Salt crystals, on the other hand, form when salty water evaporates. Dia's crystals use the evaporation method. We start up with our aluminium potassium sulfate. We have to measure 30 grams of it and then place it into our beaker. Mm -hmm. After that, measure 200 millilitres of distilled water and pour it in and then mix with our stirring rod until it becomes completely dissolved. Once you mix these two together, mm -hmm. we leave it in a controlled environment, aka like a dark environment where like it's not disturbed. And then after a few days, you'll see that tiny crystals have formed. Okay. These are some of them. Let's have a look. They are called seed crystals. So when I made the seed crystals, um, it took like a week-ish to grow. So I actually wrote a poem about it. You wrote a poem? Yeah, when I was waiting. <laughs> I was like too excited. <laughs> Seed crystals are small crystals that act as a sort of template for bigger crystals to form. We'll just basically just place it in, like dangling on top, mm -hmm. and then place it in the same controlled area, and soon you'll see large crystals. Wow! In total, Dia made 14 crystals, slightly altering her method with each one. And over 10 weeks, she documented how each of them grew and the changes she saw. Um, in the report, I included a logbook, which is basically like what I did each day. Um, so I can be like, oh, today I made the seed crystal. Or I can be, today I tied up my crystal to make my main crystal. So like a diary, but for yeah. your crystals. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> At the end of it all, she entered her report into a science competition called the Olefin Science Awards. And guess what? She won! I was like, so shocked, because like it's my first time making the crystals, and I'm like, oh, maybe it won't go, go that well, or something like that. But when I, got, when I found out that I had won, I was like, wait. Like, ah! Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, you're clearly very good at it. And since you're so good at it, I'm wondering, would you make me a crystal? Absolutely, crystal scientist. Um, do you want to pick a colour? Yes. <laughs>